Welcome to today's podcast where we delve into the beauty of faith and providence as illustrated in the Thursday portion of Bashalach chapter 15 verse 27. Picture the scene. The tribes of Israel have just been led out of Egypt, and now they find themselves in a desert with no food. It's the fifteenth day since their departure, and the anxiety is palpable. Then an extraordinary act of divine kindness unfolds. Each tribe is blessed with its very own spring of water, and for the esteemed elders, seventy date palms, seventy date palms stand tall, a symbol of wisdom and sustenance. In the midst of uncertainty, the concept of manna is introduced. This is not just about being provided with food. It's a profound lesson in faith. God Almighty demonstrates that He is the one who sustains each of us providing for our needs directly from heaven. The manna teaches us to trust that we will be cared for day by day, but the blessings don't end with bread. There is a promise of something more. Shayag is lehem haslav. A delight is coming, a variety that caters to every need. Bread in the morning to start the day, and meat at night for sustenance, both carbs and protein, an all-encompassing provision. Yet, amidst these blessings, there is a cautionary tale about the power of our words and attitudes. Bishmo Hashem, when God hears the murmurings, the complaints of the people, it doesn't just affect the complainers. It causes others to join in the discontent. Misli Nanim, it's a stark reminder that our expressions of dissatisfaction can have a ripple effect, influencing those around us. The message is clear. Acknowledge the blessings, trust in the divine provision, and be mindful of the impact of our words and attitudes on others. Let's carry this wisdom forward in our daily lives, embracing gratitude and trust in the sustenance from above. This podcast was produced and sponsored by Daniel Aronoff.